Hi everybody, this is Christy back. Uh, I'm here today, I'm going to show you the Mirabilia that I'm stitching for the Stitch Along that starts in January and a haul. So the one I'm going to do is this one. It's Gypsy Mermaid. I have actually three of the mermaid patterns. I already had this pattern. I just didn't have it kitted up. So I just got the um, fabric and the beads and uh, threads in the mail the other day from 123 Stitch. The fabric I'm using is 32 count Heritage Lugana. And here are the beads and the threads. My goodness, she has a lot. Beautiful colors, though. I'm excited to do it. This is the first Mirabilia that I will have done. Okay, on to the stash. The first thing I have to show you is this uh, Bittersweet Gatherings Pen Keep Drum. It's from Scattered Seed Samplers. She has an Etsy store. It has a squirrel on it. I have a thing about squirrels. <laughs> so that's why I got that. This is a Heart of the Home Sampler. It's by Brenda Gervais. I hope I'm not butchering anybody's name. <laughs> I got this from Country Stitches Online. And I got the thread pack and the fabric too. This is an older pattern from Not Forgotten Farm that has been on my list to get for a while. It's Woodland Chris Christmas. I believe all the rest of this stuff except for the Heaven and Earth designs, came from 123 Stitch. Another Not Forgotten Farm. This is Jingle All the Way. Those were just patterns. This is Heartstring Samplery, Sweet Land of Liberty. This is Myrtle and Rose by Tempting Tangles. I'm sorry, I don't remember who else uh, had it, but someone else has this pattern, and I just love the colors. And the alphabets, uh, I don't know, I just love the whole thing. So uh, I'd been saving up to get some new stash, and I put this on the list. So I got the uh, fabric and the Gloriana silks, too. It didn't hurt that it had silks in it. It's hard to say no. I have a problem. <laughs> okay. This one is uh, Samplers Not Forgotten. It's Music Amongst the Trees. I just like the verse on it. It says, There is always music amongst the trees in the garden, but our hearts must be very quiet to hear it. So I have this is for a gift. And again, I got the fabric and the silks. Some of this stuff I've had a few months. I'm just now getting around to showing it since I started videos. These next few patterns are from a sale. They're from uh, Heaven and Earth Designs. It's uh, They had a sale, so I got a few. <clears throat> this is Mini Peridot. That's, um, I, my birthday's in August, so. It's uh, not something that uh, I would usually pick up today, but she's beautiful, so I'm excited about starting it. This one is Mini A Real Snow Job. And I just thought that was pretty. This one's for my stepdaughter. It's the Mini Watching It Fly. I know Miss Milky Bar Kid is doing this one. Again, this is something, I don't have anything else like this in my stash, so I'm excited to try it. And the last one 
is mini fairy tales. So it's going to be a complicated pattern. The uh, when I get started with these, this will be the first time that I've done parking. So if any of you feel like you want to do a video on parking, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> The one other thing I wanted to talk about and show in this video, I'm trying not to make this too long. I'm a member of um, two uh, clubs from Dying to Stitch. It's a um, needlework store, I believe somewhere in Virginia. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and they have the Colonial Gatherings Club and the Prim Sisters Club. And this is my first year to be in it, and it's uh, it's fun. I think they send out five projects per year in each club, and you get to try out different designers, and they come fully kitted up. Everything that you need to make whatever the project is, even if it's just a little ribbon, everything you need. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to any of them this year, but I've enjoyed getting every one of them. I'm excited to get started with them. So this was the first one in the Colonial Gatherings Club. This is a Colonial Candle Pocket. All the designs are exclusive designs. This is a Plum Street Samplers design. And here's all the... This one happened to have silks in it and all the fabric, the backing fabric and everything that you need to make it just as it's pictured. This was the Colonial Gatherings Club's second pattern. This, this is from the Scarlet House and it is Strawberry House. It's a scissor fob and a pen keep. And again, you get everything that you need. Both of these clubs are closed for this year, but if you're interested, just Google Dying to Stitch, and they have information on their website. If I can figure out how to link it, I will link it for you. This is the third one that I've gotten from the Colonial Gathering Club. This is Cotton Bird, and it's another Plum Street sampler. It's a flat ornament. And there's all the stuff. The next three are the Prim Sisters Club. Ladies Prim Society, I'm sorry. This one's from Threadwork, Threadwork Primitives. This was the first one they sent out this year. It was the Growing Love Stitcher's Wallet. Really cute. I really need to work on my finishing skills. And there's the fabric. And then I got, this is the latest one that came out, another Threadwork Primitives. This is Common Thread Stitcher's Mat. It says the love of stitching is our common thread. And it has a hydrangea on it. That's my favorite flower, so I'm really going to enjoy this one. And there's a little piece of velvet in there. Really pretty. And the last one fell. Excuse me, I have to pick it up. <laughs> This was Salute to Abigail, it's Blackbird Designs, and it's a, the pattern makes it look like it's small, it's deceiving, it's a big pattern, and it also had silks, and there's the fabric. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that, um, I'm hoping to do a haul video, I'll probably have to split it up because Unfortunately, I have a problem, <laughs> and I have a, I mean, not a haul, I'm sorry, a stash video. I have um, kind of a lot of stash. I tend to keep all my stuff kitted up. When I get it, and I, if it's something I really want to start, I try to kit it, so I don't have a big thread stash, because most of my threads are kitted up with projects, but um, I'm going to track down the questions to the... Um, tag and I'll do the tag too. So thank you so much for watching the videos and I also want to thank everybody so much for the sweet comments on my first video. Hopefully I'll get better at this every time. 
and happy stitching everyone. Bye-bye.